Guys, a wild showdown erupted on the baddies. Verse T for a spinoff show in Vegas, leaving everyone stunned. The feud kicked off when Taziki found herself in a heated exchange with Glow, setting the stage for an epic clash. Word on the street had it that the spark that ignited this explosive situation was a friend of Taziki's who made a bold and audacious threat towards one of Glow's pregnant dancers. The threat, aimed at beating the unborn child out of the dancer, was the match that lit the fuse. As news of the threat reached Glow's team, they wasted no time in charge towards Tazaki and her friends, resulting in a chaotic brawl. Krishan played a pivotal role in this wild showdown. Krishan swooped in like a force of nature to give a stern warning to Glorilla, adding another layer of intensity to the already explosive situation. Krishan's intervention came after Glorilla's team charged towards Taziki and her friends in response to a threatening comment made by one of Taziki's associates toward Glow's pregnant dancer. It was clear that Krishan was not one to back down from a fight and her presence only added fuel to the fire. The chaos escalated as other cast members including Jace Lynn and Natalie jumped into the fray. According to Armin Wiggins, who witnessed the mayhem, Jocelyn seemed to be losing her mind throughout the ordeal, constantly seeking some nose candy from Glow. Mariah, Scotty, and Natalie were all in the thick of the action. The scene was a wild, frenetic mix of drama, chaos, and intoxication. It quickly became evident that the baddies vs. Cabaret show was heading for disaster. The fighting seemed never-ending with punches thrown, wigs snatched, and the air filled with screams. The madness began when Nick Cannon decided to bring together the ladies from Baddies East and Jocelyn's Cabaret for a vs. Style show similar to Wild and Out. However, even before the show could kick off, Jocelyn was already on a nose candy fueled rampage, throwing shade at Natalie and the Baddies crew. She even accused Natalie of resorting to OnlyFans out of financial desperation and insinuated that she had a romantic liaison with Scotty. So Natalie didn't back down and retaliated by asking Jocelyn about rumors involving her intimate relationship with Mona Scott. This accusation proved to be the tipping point for Jocelyn, who launched herself at Natalie, triggering a brawl that involved other cabaret members and the baddies crew. It was a chaotic spectacle of epic proportions and the tension showed no signs of abating. As if that wasn't enough, the drama continued in the parking lot. One of Glow's heavily pregnant dancers got into a confrontation with Taziki's friend, resulting in yet another altercation. It remains unclear why Taziki's friend targeted Glow's dancer, but it escalated quickly. Glow's team rushed to the scene, and soon a brawl erupted between Taziki's team and Glow's team. Amidst the madness, Tazaki herself attempted to charge at Glow and her team, but security intervened to prevent further chaos. Tempers flared and the situation became even more volatile. To make matters worse, there was animosity between Glorilla's team and Taziki's team. Despite being in the same section initially, this feud spilled over into the parking lot and it was absolute bedlam. The combination of alcohol, tension, and long-standing grudges led to a spectacle that no one could have predicted. The aftermath of this chaotic showdown was felt far and wide. Natalie went live, revealing that Jocelyn had hidden behind security throughout the ordeal. She also criticized Juice Network for not allowing her to confront Jocelyn directly. Social media was flooded with videos, comments, and opinions about the brawl, leaving fans and onlookers in shock and disbelief. That's it for this one, guys. See you in the next one.